The new profession of body collector came into existence out of necessity. Men would wheel carts around the city, removing the corpses from homes, for a fee, of course. Some were even threatening to kill surviving citizens who didn't want to pay or didn't pay enough and pass their deaths off as just another plague victim. The body collector cries of bring out your dead wouldn't start until the Great Plague of London, which at its peak was killing over 7,000 city dwellers a week. This burst of plague put body collectors back in demand, but seeing the sheer volume of bodies being carted through the streets was causing panic in other residents, so the government ordered body collecting to only happen at night, thus requiring a call of... Bring out your dead. ...to let households in need know you were in the area, like the worst possible version of an ice cream truck. This particular outbreak is also where we see the proliferation of plague doctors. Now, there have been so-called plague doctors since the wave of plague began in the 1300s, but these doctors were specially contracted by the local government to treat plague patients regardless of the patient's income or ability to pay. By this time, people knew of the plague's existence. There had been several smaller outbreaks over the last hundred years. So many experienced doctors packed up and left at the first sign of buboes. Those that remained tended to be new medical graduates with little experience. While some of them did try to treat patients via various useless to harmful interventions like bloodletting and becoming Dr. Bubo Burster, mostly their job was to record lists of the sick and dying and witness the wills. And they popularized every steampunk enthusiast's favorite Halloween costume. For more on this and other stories making sense of public health, download Health Wanted where you get your podcasts or stream on YouTube at WABEATL.